Welcome everybody to Forza Motorsport 6 and today we're taking a look at the Pagani Huayra. We're going to see how fast it will go. So yeah, this was released back in 2012, but it has a fair bit of power than it did originally, because it had 700 horsepower originally, but it has now 1,028 horsepower from its 6.2 litre V12 and it weighs 3,106 pounds. So yeah, that's more than 300 horsepower than it had originally. Because it also has a 1,019 foot-pounds of torque, so yeah, if there's any car that's going to beat the uh, the Toyota Supra to uh, go 260 mile an hour or plus, it's going to be this. So yeah, let's see if it uh, can break that record. Now this car should do it because it was already a quick car with 700 horsepower, could do like 240 or something like that. So yeah. I'll be highly surprised if it doesn't break 260. Because it does handle alright, so it should be able to handle the, uh, the corners or the, and the bumps. Because the Le Mans straight, I say that in inverted commas, isn't really all that much of a straight. But it's as straight as you're going to get, it's certainly the longest uh, part. Get up to uh, top speeds on this game because of one mile drag uh, strips. Only a mile, whereas this is well over that. So, so yeah, it should be interesting to see what it can do. Not when you screw up at that bit. As you can see, it's struggling with, uh, not going to struggle with acceleration at all. We're already 180. There's 200. And we're barely even starting. <laughs> There's 230. 240. There's 250. See, it's slowing down, but it's still creeping up. 260. Just, there we go, we're faster than the Supra. And this has even less power than that does. Ah, oh, I didn't realise that corner was coming up. You're looking at the speed up. Yeah, 265 miles an hour. Ooh, that's quick. And considering this has even less power than that Supra, that's uh, just shows how uh, good this car is with its gearing and the aerodynamics and uh, everything else. Just a shame I didn't realise that corner was coming up. Might have been able to get more, but whether or not this car could have gone round that slight kink in the uh, straight at that amount of speed is up for debate because yeah it's good at handling but it's not that good <laughs> anyway uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one